In the past decade, a new paradigm has transformed computer graphics, lighting, and shading pipelines. 20 years ago, renderers were limited because computers were slower, and they used approximated techniques for lighting scenes. Because of these approximations, an object reflecting the light might look real in one light, but fake in another. The approximations wouldn't hold up everywhere. Now, current renderers can simulate the full physical nature of light and how it bounces around in a room. Wow. Yep. This is very complicated and computationally intense, OK? <laughs> Luckily, we have this extraordinary book that explained and shared the technology. First published in 2004, Physically Based Rendering is a complete source code implementation. It's also a textbook that's on everybody's reading list. I have a copy on my Kindle. Sure you do. <laughs> right, just kidding. <laughs> this work has been widely adopted in shading and lighting systems. By making the technology accessible, the visual effects community embraced it completely. For formalizing and providing reference implementation of the concepts behind physical, physically based rendering, as presented in their book, physically based rendering. The Academy <laughs> presents the Technical Achievement Award to Matt Farr, Greg Humphreys, and Pat Hanrahan. Wow. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Kathy, for coming out here with me and being the person that she is. Uh, thanks also to the Academy and especially the nominating committee for they had a really tough task this year and we know there were a lot of excellent candidates. So thank you very much. You know, I think all three of us are still in awe of the effects that we see when we go to the movies, even though we know how all the sausage gets made. And it's really humbling to see how our little labor of love has had such an impact on the film industry. So we are incredibly grateful to everyone who used our book to understand or advance the state of the art or educate their students or colleagues or themselves. So a great big thank you to all our readers and all of our users. So needless to say, when we started writing a book, we never expected an Academy Award would be the end result of that <laughs> effort. Um, we'd like to also thank Donald Knuth, uh, who invented this idea of literate programming. <laughs> uh, and, and it's this kind of radical idea, actually, which is that computer programs should be written as much for people to read as for computers to execute. Uh, and uh, our book is a literate program, uh, and we think this approach, uh, this technique for kind of introducing ideas and explaining them has been integral to uh, whatever impact the book has had. Uh, so thanks, Don. Uh, I'd like to thank Deirdre, uh, who famously let me bring the manuscript for the book on our honeymoon. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Far Girls, uh, Sheila and Megan, who I hope will read this uh, at some point. Uh, and my parents are here today uh, for early encouragement and uh, access to computing resources. Thank you. You know, the ability to do realistic lighting simulation has been one of the dreams of computer graphics for the last 20 years. We just want to acknowledge some of the pioneers in that field, in particular, uh, Turner Witted, uh, Don Greenberg, Jim Kajia, and Ken Torrance, who really laid the foundations for what we did. And finally, I want to thank Dow, my wife, who for many years tolerated a copy of Shandra Sakhar's Radio Transport Theory on my bedside table every night. 